I'm Jackson with, with Creation Happened. Um, this is Bodie Hodge. Okay. Um, How did you get into creation and engineering and science writing and all that? <laughs> yeah, boy, that's like my life story right there. Um, you know, if you go back, I actually got saved when I was nine years old. I grew up in a moderately Christian home, and I, I'd go to Sunday school, and I'd go to church. But uh, um, with me, I, I was kind of stagnant in my faith. You know, growing all the way up, I finally uh, went to college, and I... I did engineering and I did specifically material science when I did my master's degree but I you know what I struggled uh, with knowing you know how do I know that the Bible's true I mean yes I was there at church uh, I was there in Christian groups and things like that and you know I could give a gospel sermon I could tell you about David or Solomon or or Jesus I could tell you uh, all about this but putting it together uh, in an apologetics way you know understanding the history and all that I really struggled with that about the same time, I went to church, and it, it was time for youth group, and a bunch of the kids had shown up, and apparently they didn't have a teacher for the junior high kids. So, you know, I was just there floating, helping out, and they're like, hey, go on with the junior high kids. I'm like, all right. So I went in, and uh, I walked out of the class that day after fumbling through a lesson, and they're like, oh, by the way, you're the permanent teacher now. And I'm like, what? So I got roped into that, and uh, what I did, I went back the next week, and I asked the kids, I said, hey, um, do you guys want to go through a book of the Bible? Do you guys have questions? You know, what, what do you guys want to do? And their hands went up. They were like, what about dinosaurs? What about evolution? What about Big Bang? Millions of years? What, what about this stuff? So I actually went to a bookstore and uh, got a book from, uh, actually grabbed a hold of a couple of different books, some from Progressive Creation. They're the ones uh, who take millions of years, they try to insert it into Genesis chapter 1, and what they do is they stretch the days of creation out. Read some uh, books on that on dinosaurs. I really struggled, uh, you know, to, to follow some of that because they were basically given the evolutionary view and just trying to tack God onto it. Well, I also saw a book from Ken Ham that just come out called The Great Dinosaur Mystery Solved, and I bought a copy of that, you know, and I went back and I read the whole book in one night, and I'm like, well, this makes sense. He said, let's go back to the Bible, and I remember looking at the Bible, going, you know what, God's always right. He's always right. If we're ever in disagreement with God or His Word, we're the ones in error. What we need to do is get back to what God has to say. And at that point, it's like my life seemed to turn around and God started to open those doors for me to start to get answers. Do you have any advice for kids who, um, like me, just want to get to know more about science and want to just learn more and search more and be able to figure this kind of stuff out. A lot of young people, they do love science. In fact, they like the experiments, they go through physics or chemistry or biology, and they, they really get fascinated by that. But one thing I want them to do is to step back and start with God and His Word. Here's why. Science actually comes out of a biblical worldview. In fact, most fields of science were actually developed by Bible-believing uh, 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 Christians, for example. You know, you might think of Boyle or Faraday or a lot of these great scientists. Um, a lot of them believed the Bible. It was fascinating to see, to see that. Kids, I want to encourage you to go into science, go into history, go into theology, go into a lot of these different fields, but start with Scripture. Let that be the guidebook by which you look at all that. Thank you.